Hello everyone, so today I simply must review Mountain Dew Thrashed Apple. This is brand new, this is today's the launch date actually. Um, I stayed up till midnight and I went and checked my Smiths, but I forgot that it closed at 11. It used to be 24 hours, now it closed at 11, so that was uh, not very fun. This is the Dew charged with a crisp apple. Sorry, with crisp apple. Natural and artificial apple flavor. So here we have a tree looking rather upset. I can't tell if he's wearing sunglasses or if he just has black beady eyes, kind of like a insect, possibly. And he's holding a guitar. He's thrashing. There's some apples thrashing about. Oh, there's an apple with a face looking rather thrashed. All right, so I'm going to crack it open. I, spent, I had it spend some time in the fridge just so I could get the cold, full experience. They had it in the 20-ounce bottles as well as a 12-pack of cans. And I actually met a woman who was buying it, and she said that this is her fourth Smith's looking for thrashed apple. And I was like, fourth one? This is my first one, luckily. Uh, Smith's is a, is a division of Kroger. It's the local Kroger. If you are familiar with Kroger, they pretty much all have the same thing from state to state. All right, but here we go. We're going to try out the new Mountain Dew Thrashed Apple Launch Party Edition. Smells good. I mean, it smells very apple-y. I'm, I'm excited about this one. Wow. That's extremely good. It's got a sourness to it. Maybe that's the thrashing. Uh, it's definitely green apple flavoring. Mm. I think Granny Smith is green apples, but I can't remember. Honestly, it's never really stuck with me which apples are which. I'm pretty sure I like Golden Delicious because I love Golden Apples. Um, but Thrash Apple, the green apple flavor... Green apple is always amazing, right, in flavoring. I don't like the actual apples themselves as much as I love green apple flavoring. Um, I, I prefer the yellow apple. But this is delicious. This is amazing. This is really good. And wow. the br So the brown on the cans kept making me think it's going to have caramel in it. Oh, no, they're going to ruin it. They're going to add caramel. There's definitely no caramel or caramel or car caramel or caramel, however you say it, right? It's definitely crisp, green apple taste, like my favorite um, air fresheners in my car. I actually ran out, I'll have to order some now that I'm thinking about it. I forgot my love for green apple, I just kind of... You know, neglected it, and that that was a sad choice to do. Because now that I'm trying it again, I'm thinking, "What was I thinking?" We see the the what happened to that tree who was rocking out. Oh, he's on this side, the tree rocking out. And I just discovered that this apple over here is hitting the drums. They're probably playing some thrash music if that's a genre. That sounds like a subgenre of metal, doesn't it? And wow, this is good. That sourness brings it up to a level that I didn't know was entirely possible for it to be this good. Obviously, I was excited about the apple, but I'm very excited about the apple with the sourness involved. And this is so good, and this is the first time I've ever having it. I think it's amazing. I think I, I would say it's amazing. And so at the end of the day, I would say get this if you can. If you like any sort of sour things, if you like any sort of apple flavored things, if you like Mountain Dew, um, then definitely get it, right? Mountain Dew is has really done a good job on this one. This is probably my new favorite my new favorite dew, I will say. You know, and this absolutely blows uh, 
frostbite frostbite out of the water as an exclusive do pardon me at the end of the day there's no way i can give this anything less than an 8 out of 12 